I've been to some pretty big football clubs for this channel. We've been to the Madrid derby, we've been to Dortmund, Rangers, Celtic, we've been to Champions League games, Europa League games, we've done stadium tours at Atletico Madrid, Liverpool, Man United, Chelsea, Arsenal, Tottenham. All these huge videos and huge occasions that you expect to do really well on YouTube because they are massive clubs. But I have never been to a game at the very bottom of the football pyramid in Scotland. Around a year ago, I did a video where I visited on a non-match day a club from the bottom to the top of the Scottish pyramid system from the very bottom tier to the very top tier and I'll show you on screen right now the pyramid of Scottish football so as you can see it starts at the top with the premiership then the championship league one league two we all know that we've seen a lot of games in all four of those divisions we've then seen games in the fifth division whether that be a Highland League game or numerous Lowland League games too we've seen football in the sixth division not in every Every single one of these but certainly in the east and the west have we seen football in the seventh division i feel like we may have done and then what about the eighth tier the east and the west of scotland league second division i'm not sure if we've ever gone that low and maybe we haven't as well for the ninth tier but as you can see there is only one tier of football that is the tenth tier and that is the west of scotland league fourth division it isn't a very big division i'll put it on screen right now i'll show you some of the teams that are in there do you recognize any i tried to find a game today that wasn't just at a sports center it seems like a lot of the games in this division are just at like sports centers where i don't even know if they'd be like a stand or whatever but i've picked one today where i feel like it might at least be at a football like stadium if you could even call it a stadium a ground maybe um but it should be a really interesting video all the huge games we've seen today we are doing the absolute opposite of all that we are seeing a football match in the very bottom tier of scottish football i don't know what would even be below that i don't know if you can get relegated from this division i don't know a huge amount about it hopefully we can chat to one or two people below this division is it just sunday league amateur football i guess it must be let's go and check out a game in the very bottom tier of scottish Football. So here we have it today, BSC Glasgow against Threve. Hi mate. Here come the team buses. The Threve, the away team, Threve Rovers. No pyros meeting them from the home fans on the way in. But yeah, here we go, look, BSC Glasgow against Threve Rovers. So BSC, they are, you may recognise that name if you know a little bit about Scottish football. Obviously, Open Gold Broom Hill. They were BSC Glasgow before they became Broom Hill before they became Open Gold Broomhill. Bit of a complicated story. So I think these guys may have started since BSC Glasgow became Broomhill and they thought we should remain BSC. I'm not too sure, but maybe we can find out later. Entrance fees here, written on a whiteboard, five pound, three for concessions, under 17s free, and a 130 kickoff because in the winter they play the non-league games, lower tier stuff at 130, just because um, they don't have to use floodlights or anything like that, I suppose, and it does get darker a lot quicker. But right now, nice day for it. I'm Gareth Laurie, I'm the first team manager at BSC Glasgow. And so BSC Glasgow, this is what the Open Gold Broom Hill team was called, is that this, correct? It was before we, we are at Broom Hill Sports Club, so what happened was we wanted our, our home players to be in our first team. Yep. So the Open Goal grew really, really quick and, and quite rightly because it was successful. Yep. Uh, but what we were finding was that our youth players we're getting missed out, okay. so we decided to start this team to get homegrown players into the team. Oh, okay, so this was a offshoot of that team, but it's more for the youth players yeah. of the so area. Everybody well. who plays today has came through our youth system or ah. played amateur. They've all been involved with us at some point before they've signed. Amazing, and so um, as I've just spoke to you a little bit off camera there, this is the very bottom tier of... Um, sort of the men's professional pyramid yeah. here in Scotland. So this is the fourth division of the yeah. West of Scotland. What yeah. is this league like then to watch and to watch games at? It's 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 good. The, the football's better than you would expect. Most teams try and play attractive, good football. Yeah. Um, it's been an enjoyable league. It, not ev everybody just starting out, so it's important we have a league for the people to start out. Yeah. It's to get 
to get yourselves ready to move up the leagues, to get your grounds ready, to get your players ready and get your infrastructure ready. Is that the ambition for the club then, to move up the leagues? Yeah. Amazing. Uh, and so you're playing three Rovers today, is that Three Rovers, yes. And whereabouts are they from? What they're are they from like? the south of Scotland, so they're, they're from the borders. Oh, OK, so yeah. quite a trip for them today. For quite then. a trip. So uh, a few, uh, 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 it's about two and a half, three hour drive for them. And do you think more people should come and watch football at this level? Definitely. Nice. Definitely. Grassroots football is what, it's all, about, what yeah. it's all about. If you're not going to see your team on a Saturday, you should go and see your local club. My name is Stephen Prince. Uh, I'm from BSC Glasgow. I'm the chief executive of BSC Glasgow. The goalkeeper of last year is now the general manager. And because we're quite a young club, we were founded in 2004, and we were, this is only our second season as having our own bona fide yep. uh, semi-professional first team. Um, in a generation, we need the club to be run by all of the other people. And we go to other clubs and we see all the guys there that have been in there for, for 50 years who, uh, you know, there to welcome you in, to do the hospitality yep. and everything else. Here we have a mishmash of everybody doing everything. Yeah, okay? and so we were yeah. just speaking inside about that. Yeah. So you've got the goalkeeper coach who's now, uh, the goalkeeper you say who's now involved in other ways. Yes. You need somebody to come and help. We need people, uh, I mean, all, social of, media, right? all of the things to help us. Yeah, for instance, the messaging of social media. We have a lot of social media. Um, it's probably well-intentioned, but not well-coordinated. We would like our own media team, um, you know, to, who love grassroots football, who want to report on stuff, this, this wonderfully unique uh, yep. level of football. And also to help us market ourselves because we want to generate more income because we have plans to, as you say, encapsulate the whole pitch. It's a beautiful uh, view as well, yeah, look at that. Into the ground, we want, yep. to, we want to, you know, so, so that it becomes a small stadium. We want to build a small stand here yep. and so on and so forth. So there's a project every year to so try. So for anyone watching who wants yeah. to get into football media, yeah. Get in touch. I'll 100%. leave your details below. Yes, please. And yeah, and we're, it's a blank page for anybody as well. So if you're looking to get, I guess, a portfolio yeah, yeah. of evidence of what you've yeah. done, so whether that might be commentating on a game, taking photographs of the game, or writing a journalistic piece, then I'd say this is a great place to, to, to build that up. So if you're a student, I guess in particular, you need evidence that you can do something. This is maybe the place to come and do it. So you heard it just then, they are looking for social media guys to um, come and help out. They are such a community team and they've got like families of people working in their husbands and wives and stuff. And look, as you can see, this is as grassroots as it can get. I feel like I'm literally the only fan here right now, except for like a few people dotted about who are maybe actually just helping at the club and stuff. Um, but yeah, like all the massive games I've been to at huge stadiums. It's in Barcelona, play with Messi on this channel. He scored on this channel when he was still at Barca in front of like tens of thousands of people at the new Camp. And then here we are, the only fan at the bottom tier of Scottish football. These are the ones that I love. Look, you can see the smile on my face. And yeah, I will, like, I'm sure you can find a way to get in contact with them, but I'll leave either their Twitter or Instagram or email address or something in the description of this video because if you are an aspiring football um, football journalist or social media person or whatever then there is so much access for you at not just the club like this but all Scottish clubs really of all levels because as much as um, it's fantastic and I love Scottish football Celtic and Rangers are just behemoths that get all of the attention really from all of the media so there are clubs that are crying out for young people maybe students maybe people who just want to be involved with something you may not even like want to be a student you may not even want to do football media as a job you might just want to be involved with a club like this just to have something to do and somewhere to come on a weekend and if that is you then you know come and help them out because these clubs need your help and support Here we go, this is what a dugout looks like in the Scottish 10th tent. I'm just gonna pop my coffee down there for a sec. But look at this, it's like a tent with a few little stools. Look at that, what a dugout that is. We've seen some dugouts on this channel, but I've never quite seen one like this. Crack it. You have a fantastic name. Your Thank name you. is Zidane. Thank you, bro. Thank you. You aren't the only Zidane who's working in football, obviously. Of course, yeah. But you're a volunteer. <laughs> really but yeah, you're a volunteer I'm, here. Yeah, Explain what you do here at the club. Yeah, actually, I'm just uh, doing like uh, helping to put stuff on, you know. Yep. And when you finish, we bring it back again. Yeah. And so, why do you volunteer here? Yeah, I'm just to help people, you know. 
Yeah. yeah just want to help the club of the community. Yeah, just I suppose. community helping. Yeah, yeah. I like football, but I'm not good playing. Actually. Yeah. Me too. Me too. Yeah, That's really? why I make videos. <laughs> really. And so, who is your favorite team then? Apart from BSC Glasgow, who is your favorite football uh, team? BSC. Yeah, that's right. BSC is your yeah. only team. Yeah, yeah. You don't support Man U, Liverpool. Yeah, I Celtic support Liverpool. Rangers. Because, ah, Liverpool. Nice, I'm good man. From, I'm from Egypt. Ah, Mo Salah. And uh, Mo Salah. Mo Salah, Salah legend. Uh, gentleman, Egyptian man. And uh, El Neni, Mido. Mido, yeah, I'm Neni. Remember yeah. Mido? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Here come the players. This is the away team. Will we hear a roar from the crowd? Out come BSC Glasgow from a different entrance. Look at that. Two different tunnels. And here's the referee. But in terms of linesmen, I think it is like just someone from each side. So it's like when um, when I guess you'd play as a kid and that, and then one of the coaches would be a be a linesman. Any VAR? Don't need VAR. Not with you as the linesman. <laughs> Here we go, we've kicked off in the very bottom tier of Scottish football. I've taken to a lot of stadiums all around the country and here we are now watching the coaches, the linesmen, the tents as dugouts and no floodlights. This is what it's all about, grassroots football at its finest. Oh, it's an early goal. Three far ahead after maybe like a minute here. I've actually captured a goal as well. Rare for me. What do you reckon, Zidane? One nil to three already. Still one, yeah. Oh, they could score again. Oh. One nil. Do you think they'll come back and win? I hope so. Yeah. I hope so. Yeah. yeah Hopefully a few goals today. Exciting yeah, game. Hope, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Keepers laughing at a decision. I don't know. <laughs> the ref hasn't got much help from the Linos, who are currently. Just sort of there and there. What can you expect at this level? He's off to hospital. Oh, stitches, bloody hell. Yeah, that's Tenth tier getting stitches. Love that dedication, but I feel for the lad. Yeah, well, he, he, he's a say, it's, it's a challenge. But, uh... Full blooded non league header, a corner. Yeah. You've got to go for it. Oh, big chance. Oh, and cleared away. Oh, and again, look at that. Oh, one again. I was chatting to your number five inside. He's been yeah. here, you say, since the very beginning of the club, right? He was in the first team, yeah. The first there is the skipper, the captain, Archie Prince. So he's the captain of the club and been here for since, since the beginning. Yeah. Nice. Oh, oh, it's back out. Oh. Yeah, it's, 50. it's 58. Oh, 58 bloody hell. Any, any Yellow card. So 58 quid the ref's getting today. He's getting a good bit of abuse. It, it, but... it varies. It goes up to about 65 sometimes. Oh, what a save. Oh, it's crept in. Well, lads, we'll see if it's offside a little bit later when the video's finished. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll be able to see later on. Yeah, well, I'll be interested in that. I, thought, I, I think I caught it. I don't know. We'll see. I'm pretty sure. And it's a yellow card. Bit of descent, is that? Yeah. I think one of our guys. He's had a f f good few yellows in this yeah. half. Five? Six yellows? Four? Keeper in happy. Oh, what a strike. What a goal. It's 3 0. Don't know if I quite caught it on time if I didn't. Uh -huh. Sorry to the lad who did strike that one, but that was a great hit from the number nine. He wasn't close there. That's 3 0. It's half time here, and I feel really, really sorry for the referee. Obviously, as I've already shown you, there's no like official linesman here. Um, it costs a little bit more money for them to obviously pay for linesmen as well as a ref, so it's just guys from the clubs. And every time there's an offside decision, you've got like the people who are here attending or like the players and that just giving him so much stick for giving off sides how can he see when he's like behind the play um but that aside it's been such a physical game so feisty so many tackles um and it's so unique at this level because you have that side of it that you don't really get in the more sort of watered down premier league or premiership within scotland um so it's a good game so far it's three nil to the away team three i do think that they are higher in the table 
um, by quite a few places, but um, we'll see what the second half brings. This is great, look at this. Oh, look at that. That's like one of the best macaroni pies I've ever seen. Forget the stadium, the quirky little ground and the cool people that we've met today. It's worth visiting BSC Glasgow for the macaroni pies alone. Oh, Brew Miller got one back, it's game on. 3-1. Don't know what he said to him at half time, but it's worked. Instant reply from Threve. 4 1. Five goals. The second half barely even began as well. Who needs to watch Messi and Ronaldo in Saudi Arabia when you've got this on your doorstep? Should have scored. Was that 5-1 now? 5-1. Yep, 5-1 here to Threve. And there you have it, that is what a 10th tier game is like in Scotland. Um, I could have gone to like the Rangers game today, but no, I wanted to take you to a proper grassroots football match. That is as low as you can go in the Scottish football pyramid, like the men's professional pyramid, to get up to like the Premiership. So um, yeah, that's what it's like. That's what's the foot, what the foot of the table is like. That is the teams that are propping up Rangers, Celtic, Hibs, Hearts, Aberdeen, Darvel. Um, all the other massive teams in Scotland as well. Really enjoyed today. I hope you did too. I had really fun filming it. Please remember to leave a like. Please remember to subscribe if you're new and come and check out BSC Glasgow. And if there's any aspiring social media club managers out there, then get in contact with them. They'd love your help. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye.